When you're all done with your song, you'll want to export it as audio, and that creates an audio file that you can give to anyone. In order to do that, we have two options under the file menu, export song as audio file and export loop as audio file. Let's start with export song. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our end marker is at the end of the song. And I can't see the end marker, it's way out here. So let me drag that back. Now that I've defined the length of my song, I will choose export song as audio file. And let's give it a name. We can save it as an AIFF file or a WAV file. Both PCs and Macs can read both these days. And when I click Save, I have some options for sample rate and bit depth. Now we discussed this a little bit earlier when we set up the audio for our system. But in general, you want to use 44.1 and 16-bit. If you started at a higher bit rate or a higher sample rate, you definitely want to turn on Dither, which is an algorithm that Reason uses to help with the conversion to a lower sample rate and bit depth. When I click Export, it will create the audio file. And now, out on my desktop, I see my block song. And that's all there is to it. Now, if I want to export a loop, let's say I want to export my first verse from bar 9 to bar 16. I set my left and right markers. The end marker doesn't matter. And I choose export loop as audio file. Same deal as before. This time we're just exporting a loop, but everything else is the same. And now on my desktop, I have the loop. And that's all there is to it. If you want to export the song, you set the end marker. If you want to export a loop, you set your left and right markers and choose export song as audio file or export loop as audio file.